In this tutorial in Titler Pro, we're going to show you how to underline title text. Now, that might seem like to be such a simple task that you don't need an exercise for it. Well, let's see. I'm guessing I would just click on North Chicago if I were to underline the title, press my F2 key to get into my title designer, and I'll highlight all the characters in that part of the title and click my underline button, but I don't have an underline button. Now, one of the reasons is because in some high-end publishing and graphics, underline is not considered all that cool. Uh, bold is, italic is, other kinds of things, but underline is almost typewriter old-fashioned in the minds of many. But if you really want one, how can you do it? I can't do it this way. Well, there's a couple of options you have. I can click on the plus T uh, to the upper left of the preview uh, design window box here. And then I'll click down here. We'll start another title and I'll use my shift underscore uh, to make an underscore. And I can take and I can drag it into position right below North Chicago. And that gives me an underline. But in truth, that's not exactly what I'm looking for and probably not what you would prefer either. So I'm going to right click on that and remove it. Um, we'll click on OK. Well, is there another thing I can do? If you have a, uh, a graphic design program that allows you to make simple graphics, um, it doesn't take very long and you can make a simple line. And you can bring that line and drop it in the track below North Chicago. In this case, you could do it above as well. I'm going to take this little white line that I created and drag it over and drop it on the screen. And now I need to move it below my North Chicago. Now I need to resize it. I recommend you don't use the mouse. It's hard to get it precise. I'll double click on white line. And then I'm going to go into um, the properties and we'll go into object and we're going to go into sc uh, scale and height. I'm going to turn off aspect ratio. So we're just going to take the width of the line and we'll drag it shorter. OK, and then we'll take the um, position here, the X and Y, and we're going to take the X and we're going to move it right. Now it's easier here if I, uh, in this one, I'm going to drag it right. OK, I need a shorter yet. So we're going to take the width and uh, make it a little bit shorter, smaller. OK, so you can see where you can take these two uh, options. And if you don't change your proportion, you can make something that fits pretty good. This isn't perfect, but it's good enough to sh illustrate the point. So I can take North Chicago and with a graphic line, and I can uh, go ahead and underline it that way. That's not a bad option. Um, the other option that you have is if you have a copy of CyberLink PowerDirector Ultimate, the other option you have is you can do a different kind of title. To, rather than using the default title of North Chicago, you can go into your title editor if you have the subset called New Blue, you have Tidler Pro 1.0 1, 1 or 1.5, you can drag that down and then you can go ahead and double click on it to enter the design mode. And here you can uh, enter your title text. I'll right click and go edit and call North Chicago. And then notice I do have an underline option here. So if I click on the, the whole thing, click U for underline. Now it's a word underline. So right now it might not be what I want in version 1.5 of Tyler Pro, but it is an option. I'll click on that, then close the editor. And now I have a North Chicago underlined. I'd obviously replace this item with this item and do some more tweaking on the look and feel of the characters. But it shows you an option if you have the ultra version of uh, PowerDirector. So those are three ways in which you can put an underline 
below title text. If you know of one that I've overlooked, I'd love to have you contact me and uh, we'll let everybody know.